Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to fix a missing grub error. So, basically what a missing grub error is, is that you deleted a 500 meg or so partition off your computer, which is grub. By doing that, you removed your only bootloader on your computer, so you can't use your hard drive to boot like Windows, for example. So I'm going to teach you how to fix that on a Windows machine. So, the first thing that you need is your Windows CD that you installed from. For those of you who use a 64-bit computer, a 32-bit CD may work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But you need to boot your computer from this disk. So, since you already have installed a Linux partition, which is how you got Grub, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. So you're going to boot from the disk. And it's going to take a couple minutes to load up on pretty much any computer. And you'll get a screen that looks like this. You'll see it twice, so don't get too excited when it loads up the first time really quick, because it's going to load up the second time really slow. And as I said, this will take a couple minutes, give or take. So. Then you'll get the starting windows that looks a lot like your normal desktop would. Don't get too excited, it's not fixed yet. This is just the installation bit coming on, loading up. This is just a splash screen. So this will take a minute too. And then you'll get this screen, which looks a lot like the logon screen, except it's got choices. So you want to choose your language and your currency format and your keyboard layout. Click next. Then instead of clicking install now, you want to click repair your computer. So repair your computer. And it's going to search for a Windows installation. And this will take a minute too on some computers. You want to use recovery tools that can fix your problems. That's the top one. And then you choose your operating system. And you click next. And then you're going to choose the command prompt. You're going to type in, you're going to go boot rec space slash fix mbr. Done. Close the window. Click restart. Don't boot off your CD. And when it pops up, you still don't want to boot off the CD. Wait a couple minutes. And it's going to stay starting Windows. Since you didn't boot off the CD, this is your actual desktop. Back into a working order. Sometimes it'll take a little longer to load up Windows. And other times, it won't. So, it's kind of a toss up there whether or not it takes longer. But thanks for watching, and I just taught you how to fix a missing grubber.